In the 1940s, the well-known British author George Orwell published one of his most famous books, 1984. The book has major significance for its vision of an all-knowing government which uses constant surveillance of London's population. The people are constantly reminded of this by the phrase, "Big Brother is watching you." Too many, it seems, that the Big Brother nightmare of Orwell's 1984 has become a reality, where cameras and computers spy on every person's movement. George Orwell lived in Canterbury Square in Islington until his death in 1950. Today, within 200 yards of Orwell's former residence, there are 32 CCTV cameras scanning every move. Today, his flat is constantly viewed from two security cameras outside the conference centre in Canterbury Place, and in Orwell's old favourite pub, the Compton Arms, a camera records every person entering or leaving the pub. One could say, perhaps, of Orwell that in writing the novel 1984, perhaps all he got wrong was the date. The fact of all this、uh, surveillance which is going on at the moment means one has,、um, in theory, very little privacy. One can be followed from the moment you leave the front door to the moment you go to the shops, going to work, travelling to work, travelling home from work, and to going back into your house at the end of the day. And、um, there's really, I see, no reason for this amount of of monitoring. The the principle bothers me. Information we're given about、uh, surveillance cameras is they're supposed to be for security to make people feel safer, and perhaps people feel safer, but、uh, I'm not sure that they really are. They haven't prevented things like the London bombings that we had a couple of years ago, and they haven't prevented other terrorist、uh, outrages, and they didn't prevent an innocent man from being shot on the London Underground. I didn't realise I was captured that many times a day. I, I don't feel like it's an invasion of my privacy, but then I've got nothing to hide. So maybe if I did, I would think it was. But I, they don't. I don't feel like Big Brother's watching all the time or anything like that. If it's going to help catch criminals, why should we worry about the privacy of it? Really, there's there's no need, is that? You're not worried about it yourself because you've done nothing wrong. I have quite a lot of knowledge of surveillance and cameras. I know this country, for example, has more surveillance cameras than any other country in Western Europe. Something like one camera for every four members of the population, and that's very, very high. And I feel a bit uncomfortable about it. I'm all for Amer, all, all for liberty and freedoms, but if the government is doing something. Other than trying to solve crimes with them, I'd have a huge problem with it. If they can help the police solve crimes, I don't see anything wrong with them.、Um, and if you don't, if you're not committing a crime and you don't have anything to worry about, then why would you really even care? I think there's a growing awareness of cameras, and I I don't feel that there's a great desire for them.、Uh, people perhaps aren't necessarily seeing the expense yet in higher. Uh, council tax bills, for example, because they have to be paid for from somewhere, and that money could be put into greater rates of detection and into intelligence work prior to crimes being committed. Yeah, I think it's going out of control. I don't think there's enough regulation. I don't think it's given sufficient public discussion and support. I think people are scared very often of crime, and for that reason, these cameras are just sort of forced on people. With the argument, they're a solution to crime, but very often they're not a solution to crime. They don't actually reduce street, street crime. Street crime is going up. We have more cameras at the same time. There's a balancing act, I think, to be had between what we need to keep us safe and what is an excess on intrusion into privacy. So it is finding that balance that's important, I think, for everyone. You don't want to be like you know tracked as a criminal just for stop on the street, just for you know. Missing a few hours of your driving penalties, or you know, not being able to get the right connection on your mobile phone to pay your、uh, your,、uh, your car parking. I think it's just a step too too much, really. It's just more about making money. You, you can't surrender all privacy just for security. If we did that, we'd allow cameras in our houses as well. So I don't think it's really respecting the civil rights of the individual. Well, how private are you? You're in the middle of London with so many million people around you. So your privacy is in your own space, your own home. That's fine. So long as that's not interfered with, then I don't see any problem there. 
it's not the case in France. I'm coming from France and Paris very specifically, and uh, we have not the, the same um, development of the, the cameras in each street in the town. I think it's, um, to my, in my opinion, um, a very dangerous phenomenon. Uh, to me, I think they're a good thing, providing they're in the right places at the right and time. catch the right people, obviously. I think they're a jolly good, jolly good I idea. Jolly good. Yeah, I, I think so too. Often cameras are sort of a lazy response to tackling crime when really there should be a bit more creativity in trying to find other ways of, t of tackling uh, crime and, and terrorism. And we're fighting terrorism in order to preserve freedom. And you don't preserve freedom by introducing lots of cameras and reducing people's civil liberties and scope for free action on, without surveillance. They have helped in security issues and I think they do help keep us safe. But I think the trust in the authorities that hold the information, that's critical to the success of them. They make, cameras do make me feel safer when I see them everywhere, but I, I, mean, I don't know how big a deterrent it is, because they're not exactly great quality, and I don't know if they can pick up everything. But I mean, I think it's better to have it than not to have it. I, even if it is just 3%, if it can help 3% of people, I think that's wonderful. I, Actually, there was a, an ad abduction in Florida and this was like probably like a year or two ago where a little girl she might have been 10 or 11 was walking home and it was by a car wash that had cameras all around it and they solved it pretty quickly unfortunately she was dead by the time they got to her there needs to be a certain amount of security that's when it comes down to the trust in the authorities do you have that trust um, more, more, more generally the surveillance that goes on we don't necessarily know it's going on from cameras observing people going about their daily business in the street, there must be far more information than can possibly be used by anybody. So what's the point of uh, if it all being gathered? There must be some reason for it. And I don't think it's just paranoia.